Listen, being a pretty girl and being approached in public is not all it's cracked up to be. Are you delusional? Do, or do you suffer from a mental illness? Well, guys, 33. It's time I stop playing around. Your time is up. Settle down and find me a husband. So what better place to go than the Home Depot? Women are failing men. Ladies, the reason that no man is approaching you is because of you, not them. Well, I can't wait to hear this. Let's talk about why you're pretty, but never get asked out. Do you like being approached in public by guys? Depends on the guy. What do you mean by that? Most men today will not approach a woman. And the reason is very simple. That is because women said, men leave us alone. You'd think they'd be happy about it, but it only made things worse. <laughs> now we got women wondering, asking, why aren't men approaching us anymore? They simply just granted your wish. So somebody told me that we're no longer using dating apps. We're going to Trader Joe's, Home Depot to find our husband, and that's what we're going to do today. Okay, so this is the fit. I thought it was casual, cute, but like still kind of girly. All right, here we go. This is what my life has come to. So it was kind of a bust. Oh, no. Are you okay? Um... I got approached by a girl, and she said, oh my god, you're so pretty, can you take my survey? So, I mean, I mean, no one's going, but uh, on to the next place. So, I'm kind of over it, so I got in and out instead, and I don't know, I just want to go home. <laughs> well, this is funny. She went to Home Depot to find a husband. Instead, she got approached by a female. After trying for a bit, she gave up and went and got food. Father Time said it's not your time. Time's up. Why can't women take the lead and show their interest more proactively? Well, it's because women are terrified of rejection as well. We're scared, so it's also tough for us to take the lead in the hopes that the guy who has never shown a lot of sexual interest feels similarly. Do y'all even want to be husbands anymore? No. Or did you decide against it? Let me try and explain what's happening. They're being friend zoned and they're seeing their buddies lose everything in divorce, including their kids. They don't feel like we want them anymore because we're too busy entertaining the F boys and the douchebags. Because we've been told that exciting sex is what makes a relationship great. And our throwaway culture makes us run away from conflict. So yeah, they're giving up too. Men are realizing that we really have nothing to gain by marriage and everything to lose. Never enter a contract where the other party is rewarded with cash and prizes for breaking it. It's so much risk for the guy. Why would I risk 50% and my kids when she can take them any time for no reason at all? Women are teaching us how to live without them. And at some point we realize that we are fine with that. Good and nice guys are a backup for these women once they've been ran through. They would never choose a good guy who treat them well and proper over a douchebag like she mentioned. Be careful out there. Looking for a husband. Part 3. Home Depot edition. The men are filtering in. Let's go find him. It smells like testosterone in here. Which way to the single man, please? Incoming. Are you single? Make intense eye contact so they know you're single. Never mind. That was uncomfortable. Pretty colors. My competition. The orange aprons are kind of cute though. Cute. A Home Depot love story. So strong. OMG. Did you see that? Where did that? Desperate. Hmm. Well, that was desperate. Not only is she going to Home Depot, but she plans to go to Best Buy next to shop for a husband there as well. I wonder how long she can keep this up for until she realizes that men no longer want to get married. If you recall this video, we didn't get to cover the comments for it. Subscribe while you're here. It really helps. It is very, very common to dream about an ex, to think about an ex. Even if they're in a happy relationship? Yes. Hold up. Wow. If you're offended that your partner still thinks about other past lovers or potential lovers, it's gonna be a long life.
Because relationships are a choice. I fundamentally yeah, believe okay. that. And the idea that you're not going to be attracted to other people because you have one spouse or one mate is highly unrealistic. Nope. If they are doing that, I'll be the next ex they are dreaming of and clearly missing as this is some zero accountability female logic rationale. Now I understand why body count matters. Bullshit. If you're still thinking missing or dreaming about your ex, then I suggest you go be with them. This seems to be the truth. However, if my lady admitted to me this truth, I would respectfully remove myself from that relationship. I have too much respect for myself. Well, guys, 33. It's time I stop playing around, settle down, and find me a husband. So what better place to go than the Home Depot? Yes, do you guys have any husband material here? But we can't actually your advice for more. Because I need to So this woman has hit the wall and decided at the age of 33 to look for a husband. What happened when you were in your 20s? Why didn't you look for a husband then? Listen, being a pretty girl and being approached in public is not all it's cracked up to be. You are blind. This man literally approached me, good looking, tall, dark, chocolate, chocolate drop. Gets my number, says he wants to take me out on a date tomorrow. And I was like, great, that sounds cool. He texts me immediately after he leaves the place that we met. And he starts off like, what do you want to do? I'll take you anywhere you want to go. I'll spend all the kind of money, pretty much like, I'll take you anywhere. Anywhere you want to go, I'll take you. Pay for it, everything. Then he gets to, oh, you know, I just want to make you feel good. Like, let me eat it. Let me eat it. Just let me just make you feel good. I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to like you know go all the way with you i'm just trying to make you feel good and all i was thinking was like okay so basically you want a booty call and you think that paying for me to for to take me out equals you getting some booty and that's not how that works over here and he tried to gaslight me and manipulate me like no you got it all wrong i'm not trying to like do you i'm just trying to make you feel good like i'm you know, I want to, it's all about you. It's not about me. Like literally these men will say anything just to get some kitty cat. And I'm just like, is that what we doing here in 2022? Well, she got a free meal and he feels like he's been used. Most men today are not willing to pay for dates anymore. Somehow this woman got that man to pay. You live and you learn. I guess beauty is really on the inside. Failing men. Ladies, the reason that no man is approaching you is because of you, not them. I did the dirty work and asked men why they were afraid to talk to you and got over 5,000 responses. And there was definitely a common theme. Let's read some. I would say fear of rejection and being humiliated in front of everyone. I am not worthy enough to talk to women. I just have nothing to offer them except boring, normal life. Rejection paralyzes me. Current culture feels like I will be perceived as a creep for talking to a girl I don't know. Mostly it's the fear of rejection, like I'm bothering them somehow. Rejection maybe, ending up on TikTok if you get my drift. Worried about being judged for not meeting the woman's appearance standards. So to the ladies, do better. The environment that you've created for men is only leading to the singleness that you continue to complain about. And to the men, maybe knowing that these responses were a trend amongst 5,000 of you is a bit reassuring if anything. They created the problem and wonder why men don't approach them anymore. That's just absolutely insane. You like being approached in public by guys? Depends on the guy. What do you mean by that? If I find him attractive. Emotional! Death. So what would you say is the right way to do it? I'm not sure there is a right way. One time I was complimented on my voice. Complimenting something that's not typical. Let me just say, 
the right way to do it is be attractive. What I realized from my toxic relationship is never trust a man that claims to love you but keeps you hidden, doesn't post you on social media, or doesn't take you out. That just meant in his mind that I was good for private and not for public. It wasn't until a year later I got fed up with his shit and I realized that I was priceless and not worthless. Remember your worth, ladies. Or just hear me out. He's just a private guy. What do you gain by being posted on social media? If he's out with you in public, what are you worried about being posted on social media for? The question is, why do you want to be seen? Whose attention are you seeking? Okay, first things first, you started off that comment all the way wrong talking about you woman. And secondly, God made Eve for Adam and not the other way around. It's not a woman's job to pursue a man. And I'm going to leave it at that. Well, that is a valid question. Maybe if women ask themselves, why won't they approach men? The problem might get resolved quickly because most men today will not be approaching. Subscribe.